Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This will be a video series showing you how to create SS3 house in Revit. Let's get started. So to start, let's open a new architecture template. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on grid line. So GR, it's under architecture. And then let's add in a vertical grid line first. So that will be number one. Press escape. Click it again. And then click copy CO for short. And then click on multiple. After that, click on the number one grid line and move it on the right side and then type in 2800 next will be 3600 3900 another 3900 and then we add in a 3600 and lastly 4900 and then press escape we're going to add our horizontal now so go back to architecture and click on this icon or type in gr and then we're gonna add in a horizontal like so Press escape first, and then we're going to change this to a letter. So letter A, and then press enter. And then now it's still highlighted. We're going to copy this, so CO, and then click it again and put it down. This will be 5900. Next will be... 4200, 2000, and then lastly, 3000. So now I'm just zooming out and I want to fix this. So I'm just going to click one and then Pull this up like so and everything will follow. And then this one as well. Once I move it on the right side, it will follow everyone. So now it's better. It looks, it looks nicer. Next thing we're going to do is let's go to our south elevation. And we're going to add the level. But first, level 1 to level 2, let's change that to 3700. And then click on level 2 and click on the copy or CO. Click on level 2 again and pull it up around 3800. Press escape. Now our vertical grid is lower so we could just click one of this and pull it up and everything will follow as well but i can see that we added level three but it's not appearing here so now let's go to view and go to plan view and then floor plan and then level three is already highlighted we just need to press ok so now everything is done. We could go back to level one. So first things first, let's go back to architecture. And then let's click on wall. And edit type. And duplicate this. We will name it as exterior wall number one. Press OK. And edit type. We're going to maintain 200 thickness and we're going to change this to concrete. So 
So I'm going to choose this and then press OK and then OK. So now we could start adding our exterior wall. So let's do this. We want it to be up to level 2 and then wall center line, chain, and everything is default except for this one. So let's add our wall here up to here. So A, A1 to B1 and then B1 to B2 and then all the way to E2. Something like that. Press escape. And then we could add in from E2 up to E7. And then all the way up, up to B7. And then A1 up to A3, all the way down to B2, uh, B3, sorry, and then press escape, and then go to B4, up to B6, and then press escape, and then we're going to B6. This will be 1500. And then another B4. This will be 2300. And then what we're going to do is we're going to close this out and then close this as well. And for here, you can press escape and then TR. That will be under modify and this will be the trim command. So we just need to TR this so that it will be closed. We're also gonna, gonna trim this, so actually we don't need this. This will be an interior wall, so later on. We're also going to extend this. So this will be extended around 2000, so roughly like that. So this will be good enough. So now let's press escape and go back to architecture. Click on wall and then we're going to edit this type. Duplicate and this will be interior wall number one. And we're going to maintain 200 thickness but we're going to change the material. So. Let's choose this, concrete masonry, and then press OK, and then OK. So we're going to maintain up to level 2, wall center line, and then after that, so from C2 all the way to the middle of C3 and C4. So I'm just going to roughly put it. So this will be 5700. And then go back, go down all the way to the middle of E3. E3 and e, E4. 
press escape, we're going to move this wall. So I'm just using my arrow key. It should be at the middle of C4 and C5. So roughly 1900 from the grid line of grid line 4. So that's the dimension. And then use this wall again. So create similar. And let's add in a wall right here. And then we're going to add a wall from e, E6 all the way up. Next, we're just going to have this wall right here. So we're going to close this off. So CS. And then we're going to have a wall right here around roughly 1700. There will be a powder room here. And then let's go and pull it all the way down. There's also going to be around 2000 by 1000. A closet here. I just want to make sure there's enough here. So, around 2000, that's good enough. We're just going to move it a little bit. So, around 2300. And there's going to be a powder room as well here. Seventeen hundred. Let's make it nineteen hundred, and then this one will be around thirteen hundred. So it's just a small powder room. And then let's go and pull this down all the way down. Let's add in a wall here as well. So it's around 1200 from the grid line. Sorry, 1200, yeah. So let's add in like so and then let's add something like that going to 300 and this will be around 1800 So let's add in some doors. So I'm going to use this door for now. So I'm going to use this one and then I'm going to change it later on. So press spacebar to change orientation.
there will be a double door here. So I'm going to do this for now. And this one as well. And later on, we're going to delete that and change it to a curtain door. As I see, this one is a, a glass window. So there will be four doors here. Here is a door here as well. So I believe I got all the doors from this house design. And then how about the wall opening? So actually there's one more door that we need to add. This one is right here. There will be a wall opening here, so press escape. And then wall opening, we're going to create a wall opening right here. There will be one here as well. This one as well. And I just noticed there's a door exiting here. Okay. I just want to double check. So, so far we're going to leave it here for now and we're going to continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.